place. Now, I want to mention a few other exceptions to the exclusionary rule. And some of these, at least one of them, the first one is going to probably seem pretty obvious and straightforward to you, but let's touch on it even it, though it may be, okay? Um, evidence that is obtained as a result of a search by law enforcement who are in hot pursuit is not to be excluded at trial or not doesn't have to be excluded at trial. So what do we mean by hot pursuit? Hot pursuit is pursuit by law enforcement officer with or without a warrant for the purposes, for the purpose of preventing the escape or affecting the arrest of any person who is suspected of committing or having committed a misdemeanor or felony. Hot pursuit implies pursuit without unreasonable delay, but need not be immediate pursuit. Immediate pursuit is pretty straightforward, right? The police are pursuing a suspect. He ducks into his residence, locks the door behind him. Do the police have to stop what they're doing and go get a warrant? Well, apparently not. They can just bust in and place the person under arrest. And they cannot. And sorry, and they, when they're coming for the, for you, can they search your house? And, and find, if they find anything in your house, are they coming for you? Can they use that against you? That's a good question. It's not one that I really think I have the answer for. Um, I would suspect that the answer to that would be yes based on other case law that I am aware of. I'm not aware of anything directly dealing with that question, but uh, I think the answer to that would be yes. I'll give you sort of per a personal example of that. I, I used to work for the city of Fort Worth in the city manager's office, um, and I went on um, I was one of my responsibilities was overseeing the budget of the police department and um, they would come to me from time to time as, as if they thought I had any decision making authority. I didn't really. I just would write up reports for the city manager. But um, they wanted to take me on, you know, they would come to me with requests for this equipment or that equipment or whatever, or new personnel or whatever. Um, and I guess as part of that effort to butter me up or you know, make me put, you know, so I'd be on their side. Convince me of the um, earnestness of their requests and their, the need for their requests, right? They asked me to go along on a bust, a drug bust that they had planned. And uh, they did their thing. They busted in and went through and I was looking around with them and it was a, they thought a uh, crack house. This was back in the 1990s. Um, they didn't find the drugs that they were looking for, by the way, but um, noticed uh, some weapons um, that um, included, among other things, uh, very large knives and um, can't remember, it's been so long ago, maybe a, a sword or something, but a uh, set of brass knuckles, right? A set of brass knuckles, some other stuff that were kind of hot. And I asked one of the officers, I said, are those things legal? And he immediately grabbed them up and they pressed charges against the owner of the home for possession of, oh, there was a, a sawed off shotgun as well. Okay, so, um, I think that's the best answer, you know, that I can give to that, that, uh, that in that kind of situation, it's not really a hot pursuit, but, you know, they did manage to come across some, it, it was probably within the scope of their warrant. 